there, everybody. How y'all doing? Thank you for coming back as always. I appreciate it. I really hope you're having a wonderful day or night. And welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Deluxe. All right, let's do another versus kind of thing. So let's see. So last week I did a, a review over the Magic Square Seekers. And everybody knows I'm a big Seeker fan. If you follow my channel and everything, I grab everything in Seeker. So people are wondering why I didn't do comparisons with New Age and everything. So I'm going to do that right now. And I'm going to throw in DX9 just for the heck of it. Why not? So we're going to have a little versus, versus, versus kind of thing going on. I'm going to go over the alt modes, you know, the accessories, what they come with, and then the uh, bot mode. You know, just see, you know, a little comparison, see who's better or, you know, who you like and everything. So, yeah, let's just get started. Here we go. Yeah. All right, here they are. Seekers, seekers, seekers everywhere. So in front, you got the new age. In the middle, you're going to have the Magic Square, and in the back, you're going to have DX9. I'm going to go over the accessories that they come with real quick. With DX9, since they're being so old, they only came with their uh, Null Rays or their Blasters, so that's all they came with. With the Magic Square, you got the uh, cape, you remember, and you got the uh, you know the coordination set right here. I'm going to do a little comparison also to start you know the coordination sets for Magic Square and for um, uh, New Age, and then you have the uh, crown and everything so i'll do a little quick comparison a little bit of there so you got two separate hands uh let's see let's see um sorry about that yeah you got two separate hands kind of one of a open you know kind of thing going on and then you got these uh relaxed hand ones so they came with that and you also came with they also came with the uh little reflector I thought that was pretty cool. Would have been cool if they would have painted it a lot. It would have, you know, stand out a lot better. But nice little sculpt. That's pretty neato. Then he came with the uh, Optimus Prime kind of thing, the you know, from that one episode. So you got another Starscream head, which is a nice head sculpt. And you got these two things right there. So you put them on the Magic Square uh, little uh, Prime, and you could do that one scene and everything. Then you had New Age. Now, New Age got a lot of stuff. Loved it. So you actually, you know, they build this, you know, the space bridge, beautifully done, nice purple, nice details, and they also got a stand with that and everything. You got two little missile thrusters. These are sunstorms. Um, I had those other other ones for them, just to, can't find them right now. But you get those missiles right there. You get blast effects. You get these little blast effects right here, and then the uh, thrust effects also. Nicely done, translucent and blue. Love that. You also got a, a Megatron gun with them and everything. So that's neat. And they also got two sets of hands. They got a pointing finger and they got the uh, jazz hands and everything. So hands down, New Age wins with the accessories. I mean, come on now. The, just alone, the uh, Space Bridge. That's so freaking sweet. I love that. So yeah, I give it you know definitely an a edge to the uh, New Age for accessories. So let's move on and talk about the alt mode. All right, moving on to alt mode. Like I said, this is new age. So I'll just do, you know, some, you know, they look really similar, especially the uh, Magic Square and the DX9. The only way I can really tell the difference is, is the back, there's a gap right there on the Magic Square. So I'll just do a quick comparison with uh, DX9. And they're about the same size too. So different plastic, you know, there's a little more shinier plastic, you can tell with the red and the silver. Like I said, really big difference is there's a gap back there. Everything. So we got the more little translucent uh cat pit. That's more little foggier and everything. And this side. I don't man magic square, really this right here, that's really loose all the time on mine. And sometimes that pops off, or, I mean, not pops off, but unhinges from there. So from there, you got the uh, titty things for the uh, landing gears. And you got the arm hanging out from there like that. Blasters, you got some paint on the blasters were there. So you don't have any paint on the magic square. So, I mean, they look, you know, G1, you know, really accurate. You know, both of them always gave DX9, always had a good... Uh, alt mode and everything but and then I'll do the magic square I'm, I'm sorry the magic square and the uh, new age so the new age is I think you know looks a little better 
better materials. It feels better. It's got some die cast in there, so it's got a better weight to them. You got the shiny cat pit. Everything. I did put some stickers on. Them are repo label things. So underneath right here. So I think it cleans up a little better on the new age, to be honest. But I bet mean, really to be a toss up to with the alt mode, I think they all look good. I mean, you know, they look really G1 accurate. And let's do a DX9 and a new age right here. So, like I said, better materials, I think. And it just overall looks a little better to me. You know, you got that hand sticking out underneath there. I did pick the weapons, and neither one of uh, Magic Square or New Age did that, so a little nod to that. That's pretty good. But, you know, so that's Thundercracker, real quick. Put them over to the side. Like I said, here is uh, New Age and Magic Square for the Star Screen. That's there. And the backs. I didn't show the backs of Thundercracker, but that's die cast. And then underneath. That's pretty cool. And we'll do New Age and uh, DX9. I love that shiny cockpit. I like the translucent one. It looks pretty good too. So to me, you know, the alt mode is toss up just what your preference is. Like I said, the uh, New Age and, uh, I'm sorry, the DX9 and Magic Square look really identical. There's the uh, underneath there. And then here is, like I said, it's really hard to tell them apart. Just there's like that little gap right there in the back. Uh, there's some differences too, like, you know, the cockpits and everything, but they do look really good together, you know, with the DX9 Magic Square. They got good alt modes. Oh, uh, this, this, the Magic Squares just don't, it, this feels weird. There's just, like I said, this part right here, then that comes untabbed sometimes. I don't know. But, so that was uh, Star Scream with those. Put them over to the side, and let's do Sky Warp real quick. And here is Magic Square and New Age. So I just love that it's got the shiny, you know, paint right there. And then sorry, this is difficult to see and everything. There's underneath right there. So, and there's, keep New Age over here, and here's DX9. Skyboard looks really good. I love that black and purple kind of thing going on. And underneath. And then... Here's DX9, and here's Magic Square. They're about, eh, about the same size. I think uh, New Age is a little smaller than both of these, but I think Magic Square is a little bigger. But not by much, but, uh, and then New Age is the smaller ones out of the, in alt modes. And then underneath for those. So there you go. That is the alt mode for the Magic Square, New Age, and DX9. Like I said, um, it's just your preference. I think the New Age feel better. They got a little better weight. You know, weight doesn't make a, a good transformer, but, you know, these do have die casts in them and everything. To me, I like the New Age ones, but like I said, the, new, uh, the DX9 and the Magic Square ones look really good in alt mode. So it's just your preference. Whatever you think, you know, what you like better, you would, you know, choose those. But I don't think you can go wrong as far as alt modes choosing either one of these three. So yeah, let's get to uh, bot mode.
All right, back from transformation. Man, that was a lot of transformations, man. Golly. So here is, this is the DX9. This is New Age. And the back is Magic Square because he's a little bigger. Like I said, DX9, New Age, Magic Square, New Age, right here, DX9, and Magic Square. That's how they're going to be. So don't be confused. The Magic Squares are a little bigger and everything. So as far as transformation, I definitely have to give it to New Age. It's a lot It's a lot of fun to transform New Age. You know, the Magic Square is all right. DX9 is pretty cool too. But, man, I just love the leg transformation. It just feels like a masterpiece kind of moment with the, the fill in the gap right there. I love the chest and everything, how it transforms. It's just, it's a fun transformation for me. I love transforming back and forth the new age ones. Uh, not saying the Magic Square and DX9s are terrible, but I just give the edge to a transformation for the uh, new age ones and everything. So that's it. So let's take a look at these fellas. So we'll take a look at Sky Warp first. And here is, like I said, this is new age, DX9, and Magic Square. And Magic Square already losing because... Why did you not color these purple? Why are the guns black? Come on now. I mean, everybody knows they're supposed to be purple. It's a little null rays. So we'll take a look at New Age and uh, DX9 first. And overall, I just, I love the design of New Age. I mean, I think they kill it, you know, in this, in bot mode. I mean, not even close. I know DX9 is a lot of older mold and everything. I understand that. But I just don't think anybody coming along a new... I don't think anybody new could come along and uh, be a could make a better uh, seeker than what New Age does. But there they are between New Age and DX9. You got the backs. It just cleans up a lot better in, back there, I think, for the New Age. Everything. And you know, you got this big old, you know, the headset's way back there and everything. A little bit back there too, but not as bad as the uh, DX9 ones. So we'll do a DX9 and Magic Square. Like I said, Magic Square is a little bigger. And um, one of my viewers, when I was doing the review for these, so you know, this right here, that's just, come on now. Now there is a way, I guess you can tab. There's a little tab right there. Hope you guys see that. And there's a hole right there. But, I mean, you could try to push it. I push it in as best I can, but it's just the tolerances are so bad. It lifts it up so there is a way you can tap it in try to make it better but it just won't uh, like i said there's a rumor they rush these out and see this don't this just flappy wherever you know it's just uh, this whole metal section right here just just not that good but let's take a look at sky warp with uh new age and magic square like the materials feel better a lot better paint you know it's got die cast i mean it's just just feels better and then here's the back so the magic square and dx9's backs look really similar but there's the backs to uh that and real quick we'll do uh magic square and dx9 so i have to probably give dx9 a little net edge over magic square magic square is probably the worst ones out of the uh bot modes and everything and then i look at the backs I see they're just almost identical. So, yeah. That was Sky Warp. Now, let's take a look at Thundercracker real quick. So, here is... I'll try to do them in the same order. I'll try not to confuse people, but I think you can tell the difference. There's Magic Square. So, this is DX9, and this is New Age. Oh, uh, with the uh, only thing I can really say with, about the New Age Sky, Sky Warp, I wish they would give them other head sculpt instead of just the screaming one. I mean, it's pretty cool, but I wish they would have gave him another head sculpt. That'd be cool. There you go. DX9 and Magic Square. I'm sorry. <laughs> New Age. I'm getting confused. Jeebus. Uh, New Age DX9. Very nicely done. And then the backs real quick. Just cleans up so much better for New Age. And then we'll do, real quick, we'll do New Age and Magic Square. Like I said, the middle is just, just really trashy. And the back's real quickly done. That's different blues too. There's a lot of blue than, 
you know, Magic Square uses a darker blue. And then fix that up. And we'll do DX9 and Magic Square. And a different blue too. I might have fading them. I, I know if you noticed on the, the alt mode, plastic is fading on the Thundercracker. So, and then the backs real quickly. I said magic squares are a little bigger. It's bigger in scale. If that matters to you. And let's do Starscream last because he's my favorite. He's the best. He is king. <laughs> so, take a look at this is New Age and this is uh, DX9. Once again. Just love the sculpt of this and just overall. Just the build and the the material, you know, the materials, the filling, you know, the fill of the uh, plastic and everything. Once again, they threw in die cast. I mean, come on now, that's awesome. Clean so good. And then Magic Square and New Age over here. And then the backs real quickly. Goodness gracious. All right. All right. Then we'll do DX9, DX9, and Magic Square real quickly. And the back. go well, all right folks overall new age for me in bot mode no contest I mean it, it it's beautiful it's a, a I know a lot of people don't like it but it's a mini little masterpiece figure so much fun so yeah overall definitely I choose those and we'll take a look at them one more time let's say there's the uh, new age there's the DX9 and the magic square back there. All right, there they are all together. Seekers galore. All right, let's take a look at a couple of pictures I took of these fellas. All right. Well, I hope you like those pictures I took for these. I thought I had a great time taking them and everything. So, yeah. Overall, New Age. It does it for me. I didn't talk about articulation very much, but New Age has it. Magic Square's got some good articulation, too. DX9, like I said, it's an older uh, mold. So, it didn't have a, it doesn't have a waist swivel or any like th stuff like that. So, kind of threw that out. But, overall, man. New Age, I don't think anybody could come along on Legend scale and make a better Seeker than what New Age did, man. The sculpt, the articulation, the paint, the accessories, uh, just everything. The build of it, the feel of it, it's just awesome. I mean, it's really good. One of the, my favorite Transformers I have, or set of Seekers I have, are the New Age Seekers. They're really fun. So overall, hands down, in my opinion, like I said, all this is my opinion, Tell me what you think. What do you, who you think is better? Do you like the Magic Square? Do you like the DX9? Or do you like the New Age? For me, it's New Age all the way, especially for the Seekers and everything. So I love what New Age is doing with their stuff, and I can't wait to see more. And I'm excited for Magic Square too. They got some, you know, the Stunticons coming. They got Megatron. They got a lot of stuff coming, and they're really good too. It's just like I said, there's rumor they rushed these Seekers out, and it just didn't work out that well. So yeah, so I hope you like this little versus kind of thing. I threw in DX9 just for the heck of it, but I had a really good time. I love doing this. Uh, hopefully I can do some more of these in a you know, 
coming you know days I will do some more and everything. So hit me up with some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears definitely, and hit me up with some uh, you know some you know shares, all that wonderful stuff, care bears, all that you know all that wonderful stuff I say and everything. And uh, I guess I'll see you on the next uh, transformer review, which I got shared in coming hopefully today. So you might see the review tomorrow. And uh, yeah, so as always, be good to yourself. Hell has bro, and good night, folks.